What's up guys, Chris the Ninja here and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Casey. Today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a boneless calzone. So, what you're gonna need first is some pizza crust. And uh, you can just buy the one, the Pillsbury pizza crust. Uh, that's kind of the recipe I'm gonna be using as well. Um, so first thing you wanna do, you wanna heat your oven to like, like 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me just, uh, There we go. Um, and it says unroll cookie, unroll this onto a cookie sheet. So. So the first thing to remember when you're making a calzone is that you're not actually making a pizza. You're making kind of like a pizza in a pocket in a way. But it's not like a hot pocket pizza thing. So, the important thing to do is make sure you don't put any sauce in it. If you put, too, if you put sauce in it, it'll cause it to be really runny and it won't taste good. It'll just be overall bad. So, uh, let me just open this thing up. Alright, so... Uh, so this is a, this is a lot so, uh, you open this thing, you almost as bad as the jump scare of the Five Nights at am I right though? I'm probably not, but, so we're gonna find where this thing unrolls right here, and uh, we're just gonna unroll this, and yeah, just unroll this. All right, so now that we have this unrolled, we're gonna have to like flatten it out to fit the pan, right? So let's just just flatten this out, keep this all together. Is it anything Yeah. So I salvaged this after completely rolling into a ball. My camera lady has so little faith in me, being the level 500 chef I am. So uh, next step, we're gonna put this in the oven and pre-bake it for about like, I don't know, eight minutes. Let's just say eight minutes. That's actually what the, uh, the thing on the thing on the thing says. So uh, let's put this. Okay, there we go. So, um, what you would normally do in this amount of time right now is you'd probably start cooking your ground beef or whatever you're going to put in there. I have some ground beef I prepared already, and I also have some bacon, and I also have some pepperoni that we can put in there as well. Um, also, make sure you have some mozzarella cheese, which will make it really nice and cheesy. And just put whatever you feel like putting in there, like onions, tomatoes, uh, if you like it, pickles, anchovies. I'm not gonna judge because this this is um, this is my calzone. It's gonna be your calzone when when you make your own. You can even put pineapple in it. See, see, see pineapple, pineapple. You can put pineapple in it if you want. I'm not going to because that'd be weird. But. <clears throat> Um, I'll be back with you guys as soon as this stuff finishes, uh, in the, in the oven. Alright, I'm back and, um, we just took our, our, uh, our dough out of the oven. It doesn't look the best right now, but it'll still taste pretty good. So, so the important thing to know is it doesn't have to look good, it just has to taste good. So, what you're gonna do now, you're gonna add your mozzarella cheese, you're gonna get these scissors right here, these scissors. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut, or if you're gonna carry stuff, tear across the dye line. Cheese. And yes, I love cheese. Cheese is amazing. 
our calzone out of the oven it looks really good right now um i'm gonna add a quick topping of um, a little bit more parmesan cheese i love cheese and now we're just gonna grab ourselves a paper plate just grab ourselves a nice paper plate i'm gonna take that spatula you used earlier just gonna Slide it onto that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you let it cool or not. Um, as long as, it, as long as it's well cooked. Oh, so that's what it looks like on the inside. Poor camera quality makes it look worse, but it actually looks really good to me. So we're just gonna try the, the bigger piece. kind of surprised myself so like I honestly thought that the crust would be like really really crunchy and hard to get through but it's like a crunchy top layer mixed with a soft like with a soft and warm inner layer I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give that like button a nice slap to the face like and I'll see you all guys in one two three five next time I wonder if this new outro will catch on.